Well, welcome to The Cleaning Guide. We've got a really special video today. Um, I've got a special guest. This is Ian Shepherd from uh, Spring Europe. Yeah, hi, yeah. Which is the company that makes the, well, most of the mm. controllers, like the ones I've got in my van, the V16s, with all of the clever technology in it. And uh, we're trying to figure out today how we can get as much water as possible on the glass. Yes. And Ian's written a brilliant article that's on the cleaning guide. And what's it looking at, Ian? The... Well, it's getting across that actually when you're cleaning, particularly with glass, there is a, people feel that you need more pressure. It's not necessarily pressure you're looking for. What you're looking for is a flow volume. So the, the amount of water on the glass is, is what you're looking at. Uh, and funnily enough, as you drive a pump harder, you don't always get more pressure. Or more uh, flow. You or don't or more, more flow. flow. Uh, and the reason for that is that the, the hose itself has a maximum capacity. So your, your hose can carry, say, two and a half litres of water a minute. It doesn't matter how hard you drive the pump, it will only ever carry two and a half litres a minute. Uh, and so what we're looking at is whether pressure gives you better flow or change of size of a hose gives you more flow. Great, brilliant. So when we're cleaning a window, to get the best results possible, we want as much water on the window as we can. Yep. And we want to push our pump as little as possible to yeah. make it last longer. And that's what the controllers are going to yes, help. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. the whole point of the controller. It's okay. about giving that flexibility, but meaning that the pump is drawing only as much current and working as hard as it needs to for that particular job. The, the big example I tend to use with people is if you use a pump directly from a battery, you're still going to get the same amount of water and you might draw seven amps of current an hour. You can use a controller and have the same amount of water on the glass but use four amps. So you're extending the life of your battery, extending the life of the pump and other elements are involved in that. Now as you can tell Ian is a very clever guy and he's written a very <laughs> in-depth article Oops. so you can get all of the information in lots of detail yeah. on the article. I remember when, when I started cleaning windows we had a really low flow because we were trying to save water and then we came to see that using a higher flow rate would earn more money and because you're working quicker you're not necessarily yep. using much water, it might not yep. be that much water, so then we turned it right up to 100. Well now my control is set on about 50 but that's just a guess and we're going we're gonna to try and find out the optimum level for me to get as much flow as I can without pushing the pump. Yes. Now to help us, even though we're in Cambridge, we have the king of unscientific experiments. <laughs> it's squeaky clean Dave. <laughs> the real clever one. <laughs> it's behind the camera today. <laughs> and so we are going to be connecting all different um, sizes of hose and we're going to be testing how much water we get through with the V16 yep. at all different uh, <laughs> settings and then we're going to find out the, the best for my system and maybe you'll learn something from it too. So we've connected from my van port, uh, we've connected an inline pressure gauge uh, which will tell us how many bar of pressure we have in the system and then we'll be able to run it at open flow and we'll be able to measure the flow rate in litres per minute and also the, the pressure in bar to see the effect it's got on the system. Um, so we can see at the moment the control is set to 10 and it's just under 3 bar, that's 2.8 bar when it's closed. But when I connect it, it's got dropped right the way down, it's not even reading as any pressure in the system. And let's just uh, time, Ian's got the, the stopwatch. How long do so you want to run this? for 15 seconds. 15 we'll seconds, yeah. Four. And tell me when to go. I'll put it in the measuring jar. OK, three, two, one, go. 14, 14 15, stop. Okay. <clears throat> I'd say that we are on 260 millilitres in 15 yeah. seconds. Yeah. So we'll multiply that by four. Yeah, that's going to be what, uh, <laughs> 1,040. 1,040.04. 1, so, so just over a litre a minute. Yeah. And that's with half inch hose on 10, it's 1.04 litres and it showed no pressure in the system. Yep. Brilliant. Um, do you want to go turn the controller up to 30 for us, Ian? Okay, so we're going to, just going to increase the flow to 30. And what we might see here is we're reaching the calibration level. So we need to, auto, need to calibrate the controller again. And the reason for this is that the pump's having to work harder 
to move the water through the smaller hoses. So we've got our results with half inch hose and it's shown that the, the water increased, the flow rate increased, but the pressure stayed exactly the same all the way through at zero. Now why is that significant, Ian? Well again, what we're showing is that um, there is, the hose can carry a, a maximum amount of water. And at the moment, the maximum for the eight mil is a little bit over through, three through, litres uh, a minute. Half inch. Yeah, oh, sorry, half, half inch rather. Yeah. Half inch, through half inch hose, we're seeing a little over three litres a minute. But the pressure doesn't change because the, it's not pressure that's giving us the flow. It's the, the hose and the pump that's generating the flow rate through the system. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the half inch hose into the hose reel which has got about 100 metres of 6 mil hose on. And now we will expect to start seeing some pressure rise yes. because it's obviously got to, got to work harder to get the water through a smaller gap. Exactly. So you will see the pressure increase slightly, but because we're reducing the size of the hose, it will carry less water. Yeah. So what we should see now is that the, the flow rates will be a little bit less, but the pressure will increase slightly during open flow. Uh, controller is set to 10. Yep. And here we go. You got the timer, Dave, the stopwatch? Interestingly, you might be working a shot of the, the pressure. Oh, yeah. So we've gone up to 0.5 of a bar. 3, 2, 1, go. 14, stop. So that is around 260. So about the same. That's interesting. But our pressure <laughs> is 0.6 bar. Great, so now we're going to go with 5 mil hose, pole hose, this is the X-Line, um, X-hose is it? Yeah. So uh, we've got the rectus in the end for open flow, and Ian's going to plug in and we'll take, uh, we'll, we'll okay. see what it does. And what we're going to see again here is, we'll see the flow changes a little bit as the speed of the water is changed by the smaller hose, and you may find pressure increases a bit, but the flow rate won't change as much as people think. Three, two... One, go. Four, two, stop. Okay. So now we'll see what difference it makes to the flow when we split it through two pencil jets and then after that we'll test it through a rinse bar. Now because we're going through two jets I've got to go into a bucket and then I'll drain into the measuring jug and we'll write it down. Yeah. So now we're going to do the same thing again but now we have a rinse bar so we've got multiple jets and we'll see what difference this makes. Okay so we've got all of our results here for the different hoses and the different jets. And it's been really interesting, hasn't it? Mm. And I think you mentioned to, to do it in a real window cleaning system as well, yes. which is what we're using yes. every day. Um, but the beauty of using a system is that it is easily replicated. Somebody, can, somebody else can go and actually do exactly what we're doing and find the best setting. Yeah, excellent. And it could be different for every van. It will tend to be different because people, the hose is slightly different, mm. the pump is slightly different, it goes on. So yes, yeah. things will vary slightly. Uh, a common thing people say is what's the optimum flow rate and what calibration. In truth, it will vary from yeah. system to system. It's what works for you. Now, honestly, in the past, I would have recommended turn the flow rate right up to get more water. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, a bit of a mindset um, yeah. issue that the number on your V16 isn't how much water you get through, it's how hard the pump is working. Correct, correct? Yes, yes. And so you've got to find out what it will be the most efficient for your system. And the dangers of the pressure being too high are where? Very much so. You are putting extra, where, extra pressure on the pump motor. Mm -hmm. It's trying to push more water than the hose can carry. You're putting pressure in the system. You can see from these results that the harder the pump works, the pressure does increase, mm. but the flow doesn't. Or doesn't much. And, and what you're seeing is that actually that puts lots of pressure on your hose connectors, yeah. on your hose line, it's going to split more often, you're going to be replacing uh, quick lock connectors, mm. rectus fittings are going to fail more regularly, you're going to be replacing your pump more often because it's, getting hard, it's working harder and getting hot. Yeah, great. So if we look all across our chart, we did see with all of them, I think, putting it up to 90, you did get the highest amount of flow. But it was marginal. Yes. It was a tiny amount. Yes. And we saw the pressure just skyrocketed. Yes. 
And then that's using more current, it's uh, draining your batteries more, so you're going to struggle to get through the day more, and it's going to wear your equipment out yeah, too quickly. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, where would where would we say like the optimum range is? Well, I looking think... looking for looking at your system and the way it's working, here, Sam, it would appear to looking at these results. If we're looking in the thirty to fifty range, we're seeing a bit of an increase in the flow rate, and but not necessarily increase in pressure, particularly with the with the eight meter, sorry the half inch hose. But interestingly, we come down here where we've got the rinse bar. As pressure increases the flow does not change as much. Yeah. So at 30, I'm, you're getting almost 0.75 litre of a litre a minute. Increasing that to 90 only changed it to 0.9. So there's not a lot of difference in the amount of water. That's like less than a can of Coke yeah. in a whole minute. Isn't in a whole different? minute, exactly. That, so there's, it just doesn't actually change that much. But the pressure, suddenly we're up to um, almost a, a you know, six bar plus, yeah, it's 150 the, PSI. So the pressure is increasing a lot more than the flow. And at this end, your pump is working harder, as, as Sam is saying. Yeah, so I think for me, I mean, I was working at 50. It felt like I was using a lot of water. I mean, I, I really felt like it was pushing me when I was <laughs> using, normally I use the X-Line brush with a rinse bar, so I'm looking at this bottom line. I mean, I, at 50, I felt like it was really pushing it out, but I could also feel the pressure when I connected the hose locks mm -hmm. that sometimes like push back. I think I'm probably going to drop it down to 40, maybe maybe even 30, see how I get on. Cause it, I mean, what difference is 40 going to make, really? I'm, I'm getting what, what will be enough water oh, through you've, it. You've got 0 0.5. So yeah. now you're talking about a small children's drink carton of difference yeah. a minute. Yeah, it's about 0 0.05. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's tiny. So yeah. you actually have a tiny amount of increase in flow. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, the pressure's gone up by almost 10%. Yeah, and for me that's been good enough to rinse on the glass, which we often say you need high flow for and to feel like you know, you're know you working quickly. Yeah, well, you see it with the pencil jets as well, because they're bigger jets than the individual rinse bar jets, but we actually got the same flow rate at 30 as we did at 50, but we had uh, almost a bar less pressure yeah. that was wearing on your yeah. system, and, and you could hear the difference in the pump. You could hear pumps working harder. Yeah. I think we'd say never go above 70 based on these results That'd because be there's no advantage there's, to there's it. There's no advantage of going up to 90, no, up above 70 and that's, yeah. that's really what I'd expect with the V16. It's driving the pump in a different way to the V11 uh, and we have seen across the board that people are able to use lower flow rates when they upgrade to V16 compared to V11. And, and it, you know, it, it, but having said that, uh, the V11 would have, you would see similar, similar results to this. Yeah, because as you explained in your article, the flow rate is dictated not by the pressure, but by the size of the hose. Correct. Yeah. So we're reaching maximum, and, and we would have anticipated, you know, if we had a different controller with a much higher pressure pump, yep. it could have gone up to three, four hundred psi. It could, yeah. But our flow rate wouldn't make, it would actually again be either staying the same. All falling away. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And that's that's all because the, at the end of the day, it's about how much water the hose can actually carry. And once you reach a point where it's, it's maximum, driving the pump harder has little to no effect. Yeah. If we wanted to higher flow rates than this, um, let's say that you know for soft washing or if if we were on big commercial jobs and we wanted mm -hmm. to push up what we could use well firstly we could say pencil jets will give you that slightly higher flow rate yep if we wanted it to go even higher then we've got to look at using a thicker diameter hose yes. to get there so maybe yes. eight mil hose yep i think so you basically as you're going if you want more flow you're going to be increasing the size of the hose so you might go from six mil to eight, as Sam is saying, because you can physically carry more through the bigger hose. I mean, on the other side of looking at it, I felt like I was washing with a, a lot of water at 0 0.8 <laughs> litres a minute. Um, yeah. And we're often looking, if, if you're in a smaller van or a backpack, at how you can save water. Absolutely. And when Absolutely. you look at that, I mean, if you've got a backpack that runs with a 25 litre drum, yep. and you're using 0.75 litres a minute, then mm -hmm. you've got... Half an hour's work, give yeah. or take, yeah. Yeah, that's a fair bit that you're going to do, isn't it, from half an hour. Yeah. So. But interestingly there, if you just drop that down slightly, from maybe mm -hmm. for, to 25, mm -hmm. uh, you might actually suddenly find you've worked for an hour. 
with the same amount of water. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it doesn't actually impact the quality of the clean. Yeah, and we will say it does. It can slow you down with less water, but it we're can, looking yes. at. We kind of want to be in that bracket where yeah. we're as efficient as we can on the system, but getting an acceptable amount of water Correct. which we want as much as we can yeah. without pushing the system. Everything's about a balance. So it, the ideal world is to have the maximum amount of flow that you're looking for, perhaps with the lowest amount of pressure. Um, something we haven't mentioned is. Um, like, why don't we just all switch to 8mm hose? <laughs> so obviously, it's, it's quite heavy, isn't it? There's a big difference. Yes. Um, I know Dave said that. He used to use 8mm, and it's so much easier to drag 6mm around a house, yeah. get it in and out mm -hmm. of the van. Um, for security, you can usually close your doors, and the seals will let 6mm go through it. Um, yeah, sometimes at a customer's house, you can close the back door over the hose if it's 6 mil, yeah. whereas with 8 mil, that's 8 mil internal, so you outside diameter, you, you're getting closer to half an inch outside you diameter or more. Absolutely, so. yeah. That's been really, really interesting. Thanks, Ian. For, you're very um, welcome. Coming Thank down you. Today, coming up today. Yeah. And uh, I'm really happy with my system and the V16 controllers that I've got in that have a lot of intelligent features in. They've really mm. kind of changed the way that it works for me. Thank you. We'll have a bit more of a look at that in a bit. Yeah. Uh, well, make the most of you being here. <laughs> Good. Get your money's worth. Yeah. Really like. <laughs> but thanks well, very much. Well, worth in this case. <laughs> and uh, make sure to head over to thecleaningguide.co.uk to check out the full article on flow rate against pressure. Absolutely. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And thanks, Dave. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Dave. <laughs> well done, Dave. Bye-bye, <laughs> Dave. <laughs>